Hey, fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sag, how you guys doing? Hopefully you're doing well. Brand new, welcome to the channel. A warm welcome to you. Uh, I am doing a class on plutonic versus twin flame relationships, how to tell in your astrology if that is true, which one is true, or if both are true. They can overlap. So uh, plutonic relationships are highly transformable, form, yeah, highly transformable, but a lot of people mistake them for twin flames, so that's why I'm doing this class. So thank you for the suggestion for the class, you guys. Um, that's happening um, on August 12th, so if you're watching this after that, uh, we'll likely make the recording available for those who want to um, access it. We'll give you a, um, a post. We'll give you a post, a recorded version of the, of the class. So we'll set that up for sale pretty soon. Okay. All right. Let's see where we go here. Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Going to be running a little contest between now and the end of August. For all of August... Which of the elements, air, fire, earth, water, gets the most likes? You guys are going to get a custom live shot. Uh, live shot. Listen to me. Like I'm back in the news business. You get a live uh, reading. That's funny. Um, and I will do a live for each of the signs in the energy. So I would do one for Aries, one for Leo, and one for Sag. Um, all part of the same live shot, though. So if you want that for September... Get liking. Get cracking, McCracken. All right, let's see what's going on. Feel free to swap around the characters. I could be talking to a cross watcher. <sighs> Deep breath, everybody. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Hope you all are staying cool here and now. Poised to the sea. That feels very good to, to me. That feels like you're on the path of something really good. So you likely have done some hard work for yourself here, done some good healing work. I feel like there is um, an opportunity coming in and you're going to be available for it because you're not resisting it. You've learned how to manifest so it's not resistance. Good job. Good job. All right, to the sea. Some of you could literally be going, you know, to the ocean. Something about that, ocean or the lake, just to relax. It's very hot right now and, you know, things are poised at the beginning of fall. Lots, lots is gonna happen this fall, but this is a quiet moment for before. Quiet moment before for the fire signs. All right. Woo! Knight of Swords, and I'm seeing the Leo energy here. Sun. Two of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Okay? So somebody here could be dealing with a Virgo. I feel like there might be some anger between you because of a third party situation. There's the Virgo energy again. Knight of Pentacles, Five of Cups. Boy, do they have regret. Page Pentacles, want a brand new start. Knight of Cups, Six of Swords, Page of Swords. I feel like they might come to you. Look at the Knights and the Pages. A lot of messages and movement. Wow, Five of Pentacles, Six of Cups, yes. Ace of Wands, New Beginnings, New Beginnings. Five of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, Strength. So lots of Leo here, okay? And I feel like you might be very defensive with this person, okay, about this new beginning. Ace of Pentacles, Leo. You could even have some anger, or there was some anger maybe in the past. I just don't think there's a lot of trust here. Because if you look at her, this is happening in the next six days. Look at her. Can you see? And she's looking at him. I don't know if you can tell. But she's kind of like, 
looking at him like, what's going on here? <laughs> what's going on here? And I feel like this person is um, going to make you an offer. They're going to come back into your life. Or this could be a, this could be a new person. But it does feel like for most of you, it is somebody you already know. Okay? Coming back into your life saying how much they regret whatever happened between you. Okay? You've moved on. I feel like you've moved on in a lot of ways. Page of Pentacles. But they want a new beginning. A, 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 a tangible new beginning. So the offer is made. Knight of Cups. Very romantic. This is almost very chivalrous. This Six of Swords. Like he's helping her across the, the water to the sea. Remember? To the sea. Okay? Um, this person could... They could come off like they're wanting to help you, but you're really, I feel like you're the, um, you're the new path, okay? You're the plan. You're the plan. So you could be a little bit defensive with this person, not really trusting of them. I think there's a reason for that. So Page of Swords, um, they're watching their P's and Q's very, very... Um, they want to make sure that everything they do is just right. They don't want to, they don't want to, they've thought about this a lot. Okay. This person's thought about this a lot. I don't mean that necessarily in a bad way, but I feel like there's some trust broken here. Um, so five of pentacles and now the six of cups, you see how she's helping him and then he's offering her a cup. So this person might need your help. This person might be down on their luck. Okay, Ace of Wands, uh, wanting to start uh, something new. Ace of, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. Seven of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Hanged Man, Magician, this one wants to come out full. So this person wants a new beginning with you, a new start, a fresh start. They're willing to put in the time and effort. Okay, they, they want you to see that they've turned over a new leaf. All right, there's somebody new. There's somebody magical, somebody different now. And they want you to take a leap. This would be a leap of faith. It absolutely would be a leap of faith. Um, the trust piece has been broken. There has been some uh, trust issues here. Yeah, trust issue. There's a third there was a third whiff of third party here some somehow. Okay? Yes, ace of swords. All right, world tower. Nine of cups. Justice. Okay, so they got the divorce. Just so you know, they got the divorce. Um you might have been waiting around a really long time for them. 7 of pentacles and you've been manifesting you I think you think you want this person back. Or you thought you wanted this person back. I'm not sure I like all these knights and these pages. That feels a little immature to me. But they are showing up as the hanged man and the magician. So they are capable. But you, you are the real deal. Strength and the ace of pentacles. You are the real deal. So I, I feel like you have every right to be defensive with this person. It would be a tremendous leap of faith for you to go here, for you to like, be like, yeah, I'm going to do this. I think that they would, I think they might be shocked if you did, but they're definitely going to make the case for it. They're definitely going to make the case for it. Okay. So I see here, I see, uh, let's see. Libra, Virgo, I, I feel really strong Virgo energy here. So I'll look at Libra and Virgo. Um, I'm just feeling like such, such moodiness or such, um, uh, what's the word? Entitlement. This person may feel they're entitled to start again with you. There's something about money here. 
Okay, they might have lost a lot in that divorce. Just keep your wits about you, all right? I know we've been talking about that for the last week and a half. Okay, so um, if you're defensive, I'm not surprised. The one that's missing, the one ace that's missing is the ace of cups. Where's the ace of cups? Right, you've got the ace of pentacles and the ace of swords and this ace of wands here. Where's the ace of cups? Where's that offer? That's the offer I'm looking for. This is passion and this is spending time and this is telling the truth and all of that and that's all good stuff. But where's the love? Where's the love? All right, we'll look at that in the extended, okay? All right, uh, the link is below in the description box if you want to continue on with me on this reading. If not, enjoy your day. I hope to see you in the class tonight, August 12th.